six rules all men must follow. Before we start this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Number one, she must come before you do. You see, no girl loves a selfish lover. If you're always three strokes nut, three strokes nut, three strokes nut, she's gonna get tired of that and she's gonna wanna leave your ass. Cause you ain't pleasing her, a man should always be able to please his woman. I don't think you can keep on doing this and she stays with you long term. Because she's not, she's really not. Number two, never date the homie's ex. First of all, you're getting with his sloppy leftovers. He done smashed her from left, right, and center, and already did everything with her and been with her. So tell me why in God's name would you want your friend's ex? Oh, because I secretly liked her, and I always wanted that girl. You're a bitch! You're also a snake, too. And half of the time, that girl doesn't want you. That girl does not want you. She only wants you to get back at him, at your homie. And when she's done with you, she's out. She played both of your asses. So don't think you're winning in this situation, because you're really not. You put your friendship at stake just for a little punani. You could have got with any other girl, but you decide to get with the sloppy seconds. Number three, never talk bad about your homie when he's not there. Always make him seem like he's the G and he's the GOAT. If you have a problem with him, talk to him face to face, but never to other people. That's what women do. Women like to gossip. You hear what Shiniko did? She's so annoying and she's a little bitch. That you might as well you become a girl. Number four, you try to make your friend look bad in front of his girl. This is a no-no. This is a no-go. You should always strive to make your friend look good in front of his girl. Because it's his girl, it's not your girl. You're not gonna be going home with her tonight. So why are you trying to make him look like shit? Is it because you're insecure? Is it because he pulled the baddie and you didn't expect it? Stop being a little jealous bitch and be proud of your friend. Because when you get a girl, you would like the same treatment. Number five, you should be able to say no. You see a lot of men going around being yes mans. Yes, you can have my PlayStation when deep down you didn't want him to borrow it in the first place. Yes, we can go to that five-star restaurant, but you know your bank account ain't looking too good this weekend. When you only say yes to everything, people take advantage of you. Girls will, your family will, and also your friends will. Because you never say no. They know that you don't have the backbone to say no. And you want to know the funny thing is, the more you say yes to your girls, the more unattractive she gets. Because you ain't engaging her feelings, you're always saying yes to everything, so it makes it boring to her. Start using the word no often and yes when they really deserve it. Number six, and I have a bonus for you, so stay tuned. You must go to the gym at least a minimal of four times per week. More days you skip or you just don't go at all. The more you give up on your body, the more you never get to see the maximum capabilities of your body. I'm a strong believer that every man should figure out what his body's absolute limits are. And obviously, if you're not going to the gym or you're not doing any type of physical education, you're never going to see that. It's very sad in my books. Number seven, never vent to your girlfriend unless you actually have a way to solve that problem. A lot of guys love to bitch and complain. Make up excuses that they're not in the position that they want to be in in life. Mom is the reason why I'm like this. Shit, I don't got no money. I just can't do this. You see, most women hate this. And the more you bitch and complain like a little girl, never take accountability and never own up to your actions, she go pull away until she ends up leaving you. You see, there's nothing wrong with complaining every now and then. But if you're complaining 24-7, she's gonna pull away. If you're going to complain, always have the solutions to your problem. Because then you don't have to worry and she doesn't have to worry as well. Complaining doesn't put no money in your pocket. Complaining doesn't improve you. So why are you complaining? It's just a waste of time. So if you would like a saucy part two to this video, make sure to drop a like. Comment, subscribe, and also click the bell so you never miss a video. But you already know, NMI out. Cue the outro. <laughs>